Hey there, Taurus. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message for Taurus, the cross watcher, anybody that was drawn here, really. Take what fits, leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home, just try a different message. I'm going to do a Celtic cross spread with the Everyday Witch Tarot. And then I'm just going to pull a couple of closing messages from the Mystic Red Rose Oracle. Okay, so let's get into it. Current energy, three of pentacles. Working on something. You're not the only one here that's working on it, though. I'm hearing under construction. So, Taurus, you're under construction or you have something in your life that you are constructing. So oh, interesting. Trying to build, trying to revamp. Incoming is the Ace of Cups. Love that. Love that. Oh my gosh, yes. What? Your cup overfloweth. Whatever you're trying to create here, you're creating it with love. You feel guided to create it because you're supposed to create. Like you're you're right about this. Oh my gosh, and the Ten of Cups at the bottom. I wasn't even gonna look. I just happened to see that. Um Mm, this is beautiful. What's in the foundation here? I feel like you're inspiring people right now, too. What's in the... Yep, thank you. Three of sword. Yeah, see, you're detaching from certain, certain things. You're... It's... Ah, journal. And the ink is spilled. I feel like you were sitting with yourself, probably in meditation... Um, or maybe even daydreaming, but you're thinking to yourself about your situation and certain things that are upsetting you, other things that are making you happy, some things you'd like to bring in, and you're like, maybe I can do something about this. Let me put the journal down and let me, let me do some things. Yeah, you sat with your thoughts and realized some changes you can make, and you're definitely creating separation where you need to. I'm letting go and we're all going through that right now so like do not feel like you're being singled out Taurus that is definitely a collective message recent past is that judgment call that you made this is also your intuition calling you trying to tell you something hey something really important is about to happen you need to know this and you're hearing the call I definitely feel like you and your higher self are on a first name basis right now like you guys are really heavy in communication. Um, for some of you, actually, interestingly, you recognize, well, no, I don't want to say that. Never mind. I'm not going to say that. What is crowning for Taurus? Nine of Wands. Yeah. The stuff that wasn't working, the stuff that was frustrating you, the stuff that you felt you needed to journal, you needed to sit with this because what? <laughs> right? Something's got to change. What can I do to change? And like, you're definitely making the moves here. So I love this because this tells me that you are working on yourself. You're working on your situation. You're probably putting your feet down. You're probably kicking a few people out. Might be making a couple apologies along the way as well. Like, I just, I'm seeing a teacher have one of those big ass chalkboards and they are cleaning the entire thing. Which is weird because like school just started so why does it feel like, oh, because you learned the lesson. Taurus, you learned the lesson. We can clear the chalkboard. We don't need to keep it there anymore. Yeah, you really uh, figured something out here. Like I did say, oh, apologies. Page of Pentacles. There could be some love and romance in the air, um, actually. Now that you're in a better place, as you move into a better place, you're going to be meeting some people and there could be some romance here. You guys know me, though. I don't really focus too much on the romance. For others of you, this is you knowing that you got a lot of love to give and you don't know where you're going to wind up. You don't know all the people you're going to meet, but you do know how to tell who to fuck with and who not to. You know what I mean? Like, who can I sit down and get to know and who do I need to avoid it like your intuition is really on top of it but I think you've just learned a lot of things 
And I think you may have done some things too. So you know the flags when you see them because you've been there before. So you know how to recognize it. You know, that whole real recognizes real thing. And you're like, yeah, I've been there, but I've grown a lot since then. And I don't want to get mixed back up in with that. So I'm going to just go ahead and avoid that, right? Been there, done that. No, thank you. Blockages, strength in the four of pentacles. Okay, so you may have recently cut some of this stuff out, and it's hard to keep that on lock. It's hard to stay dedicated. It's hard to not cave and give in a little bit, right? Because you miss this friend, or you miss that midnight snack, or you, you know what I mean? Like, whatever it is that you're choosing to let go and separate, because it's just not good for you. Maybe it's staying up late, doom scrolling TikTok and YouTube, and I, I don't know. It, it could be so many different things for you, Taurus, but, like, I think the blockage is just, just if I could speak... The blockage is just having the strength and courage to keep your stuff locked down, you know, to save up for something that's, it, you know, and it could even be like, there's a lot of change going on and you want to share this with people, but you just removed everybody. You don't have a lot of people to share it with anymore. And that's what's driving you nuts. You want to share it with somebody. So maybe you'll let one person back in so you can at least share your stuff. Don't. No, the people to share with will be coming in. For now, share with your ancestors. Don't act like you're the only one in the room. <laughs> the universe is viewing you as the eight of wands. In a time of chaos, you are understanding the assignment. There is so much going on right now. Things are moving really, really fast. And you might even be a little confused. Like, wait a minute. What? 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 I didn't catch that. What? Huh? Um, you got a hold of this. Like, you've, you're, you're in control here. More than you realize. And that's one thing I want to say about tornadoes. As terrifying and destructive as they are, it is insane how fucking close you can get to one without actually getting hurt. I don't really want to go there too far, but maybe you watch the new movie Twisters. Um, I don't know if I want to because there there's some things that you just you don't touch. You don't try to remake it, and Twister was one of them for me. That was one of my absolute favorite movies to watch as a kid. Anyways, Eight of Wands, how the universe is viewing you. You're receiving the messages. You're understanding the assignment. It's chaos, but look at you. You look unscathed to me. Look at how much trust this cat has in you. This cat is solely looking at you. As long as you look brave, look confident, look in control, then this cat feels comfortable. Like there, mm, there could be someone looking up to you for the bravery and courage to get through this, especially if you have a child that's going through all this with you. Or pets or significant others some of you already have love in your life right there are some eyes on you just because you separated from people doesn't mean they're not going to be nosy and make fake accounts and come snoop on your social medias and they do they do <laughs> we already know that maybe that's something you're trying not to do the goal is the tower let the tower fucking crumble because essentially all the tower is is a blockage on your path to what comes next. And the crows, birds coming in now, which is interesting because it's been raining. So I'm surprised they're out at all. Outcome is the queen of pentacles. Knowing your worth, knowing your value, not taking any shit, looking mwah, gorgeous while you do it. Like it's just, yes. Yes. Overall, at the bottom of the deck, you avoided the devil. You avo you avoided some very toxic energy here. You could have sent a chaos demon packing. You did, though. You sent some people packing, and some of these people absolutely fucking lutely had attachments, and they liked those attachments. They fed it. They fed it. That's why you had to walk away. 
you don't always know what happens behind closed doors, but your intuition will tell you when you need to protect yourself, when you need to move away, when you need to, oh, no, I can't find my keys, when they're in your fucking hand. <laughs> like, sometimes you need to not find them on purpose. You feel me? Darn, I guess I can't make it. Um, we're going to take that. Oh, the snake. Yeah. Competition and enemy, the other woman looking over your shoulder. Ugh. You're better than all of that, Taurus. Can I get a closing message for Taurus, please and thank you? Oops. Shock. Yeah, there's that tower, and we already pulled it. So this could either be a big tower or a couple of towers. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise and epiphany, transformation. See, you're having epiphanies here and other people are going to be shocked at just how dedicated to self you really are take notes take notes i am going to leave this right here we've got libra pisces leo scorpio and capricorn i'll see you guys in the next one until then stay beautiful